Hello friends and welcome back to another engineering science recap video. My name is Jason. I'm in my third year of engineering science specializing in the biomedical systems engineering option. Um, today is September 9th, 2022. I just had my first day of classes. Hope everybody is enjoying being back in school. Today I'll be talking about the class, uh, the course ESC 204, Praxis 3, probably one of the most uh, the most sought after courses uh, or the most anticipated courses in the engineering science curriculum. So what is ESC 204? Well, it is a second year winter course in the NSI program at U of T. Uh, when I took this course in winter of 2022, uh, the teaching team consists, or the primary instructors included Professor Philip Asari, Rubina Khan, Anuli Indibusi, uh, Katie Allison, and James uh, McMahon. So ESC 204, I see it's very highly anticipated in the NSI curriculum because it's the final iteration of Praxis in the foundation years. It's the capstone engineering design class. It's a one iteration design cycle. Um, that's how it's formatted. And it's described as um, more advanced engineering design working in a global virtual community, including tackling leadership, entrepreneurial and consulting roles within the context of engineering design. And it really goes with the theme of engineers for the world or E4TW, which is sort of a catchphrase within EngSci. Every week we would have two to three hours of synchronous lecture, four hours of design studio, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So the main course topics we uh, we discussed during this class. Uh, you, so even though it's more of a design course, we still had a fair bit of lecture. Two to three hours per week is not, um, you know, not trivial. We went over topics like designers' empathy, human-centered design, value propositions, global teams, non-functional research, project management, technical research, cultural influences on engineering, value-sensitive design, bias in design, prototyping and proxying sustainable design and yeah that's pretty much it so there's a lot of others like minor minor things we briefly covered but this is sort of like a, a pretty extensive list already so as you can see it's it's more focused on applied practices in engineering design and less focused on the technical uh, details associated and less focused on like theory more just to help us uh, get a practical sense of what we need to understand when doing design work. Uh, as for the assessment structure, I'm going over the assessment structure because normally in a video I would cover like a, a test question I did, but in this class we didn't really have those kinds of tests just because this wasn't a knowledge-based course necessarily, it's more design-based. Um, so for this class we did a lot of writing, we had reflections, three of them, we also had three widget labs. So I was focused on skill building, uh, working with electronics and stuff like that, and writing code. We had a design pro proposal, uh, which was done in teams. Uh, the whole design cycle was done with the same team. And at the end, we had a final design pitch. We also had marks allocated towards professionalism and engagement. Uh, we also had teamwork debriefs uh, using the TELS system, which was developed by uh, Professor Sheridan. Uh, so TELS basically stands for Team Effectiveness Learning System. And so for some overall reflections on the course, I really enjoyed the fact that we got to work in sort of more global opportunities. I thought it was really cool. Um, and it allowed us to work on problems that um, sort of were maybe not familiar or in an unfamiliar context. So we got to step out of our comfort zone a little bit. Uh, as well, we had in-person teamwork for the first time in two years, which was great. It was a lot of fun getting to actually, you know, be with your teammates physically in the same space. Whereas in practice one and two, uh, because that was online for me, it was a much more, a much different experience. We also had a lot of widget skill building, which was unique to this course. Um, and I thought that was very, um, nice because we got to actually have like some hands-on experience before we started our um, design process for our, our actual opportunity. 
so those are my thoughts on the course. There's a lot more I could say, but again, there's this course is always evolving and changing. So, um, you know, by the time maybe you're watching this video, uh, the course will be totally different, have a totally different structure, totally different teaching team. So at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm trying to keep it applicable as much as possible. Um, so yeah, but before I end off this video, I'd like to make some quick acknowledgements. Uh, so thank you to uh, all the instructors as well as the fantastic teaching team. So most notably, uh, the course content instruction were developed and um, delivered by Professor Basare, Rubina Khan, Anuli Ndubusi, Katie Allison, and James McMahon. I'd also like to thank my specific tutorial TAs for being uh, wonderful throughout the entire design cycle. Uh, so that's Rocco, Shiva, and Yusuf. And also the individuals whom I stole this Beamer template from. So thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.